Hey there, Hunters, and welcome back to the Gunner's Guild. Sorry it took so long, but finally, today in Wild Hearts, we're going to be discussing my bow build. I hadn't made a video on my bow build before because I wanted to try testing all the bows, you know, raw bow, elemental bow, and crit stacking bow, so that I could compare them. And it kind of took a long time to gather the materials to make all the bows, but we finally got it. So let's get down to this and start discussing the bow sets. First, we're going to be using the same armor set for all the bows. I'm using the Ember Plume Hat for earplugs and stamina recovery speed. Solar protection is just an extra icing on the cake there. The chest and gloves are going to be the cutthroat for the extra stamina recovery and leeway. I augmented all these to be kimono by the way, just so I can have the full kimono bonuses to get earplugs. The legs are the final boss legs, which honestly I just have because I don't think there are better leg pieces out there. These just have battle spirit, which is challenger basically. It's 10% more damage when a monster is enraged, which is pretty nice. And the boots are going to be cutthroat as well. There are other stamina boots you can use, but these were able to be kimono augmented to fill out that kimono meter. So yeah, it's all stamina management, which Bo desperately needs, but also feels kind of bad because we're just stacking stamina. I know there's not much offensive power to be gained on the armor anyway, but it still feels kind of whatever. Now for the talismans, I'm using sprint master talismans so I can run while sprinted, but I may change that and use different boots instead. My other talismans are going to be just for some stamina recovery and savage just for more raw. Sadly, I can only use four talismans right now because the sprint master one is costing me 24 points. Uh, so yeah, talisman and feet will change as I find better talismans. But anyway, this is the armor set and I'm going to be using this for all three bows so we can get a comfy baseline. Now, stepping into the bows, I'll show each of the bows real quick just so you know what we're working with. The first is going to be our raw bow, which is Golden Tempests. It's got extreme archery for 30% less stamina consumed for bow attacks, desperation for 15% more damage, knocking marvel, which increases the speed of our stance charge 1 and charge 2 swapping speeds, and speed shooter, which lets us shoot our horizontal charge 1 arrows much faster. We don't have fast draw because fast draw only increases the charge speed of your standard vertical charge, which I actually don't use all that often. Knocking Marvel is what you want. Also, Speed Shooter is just too good. Here's a comparison between Speed Shooter and Not. The crit bow we're going to be using is the Silica Bow, which has decent raw at 390 compared to Golden Tempest 455, but also has 20% base crit chance. I put on Extreme Archery and Desperation here as well, so they have like, you know, just the flat same bonuses, but instead of the standard arrow quality of life shooting skills, I grab 10% more crit and 12% chain crit to keep its crits going. And also I'm going to be eating for crit food, so this bow is going to have 56% crit chance. Now for the Fire Bow, I'm going to be using Ember Plume's bow. I pathed around to get Fire Wilt, even though I don't really have any idea how this works, but it has the other quality of life skills on it, such as Knocking Marvel, Speed Shooter, and some Extreme Archery. This is the strongest Fire Bow in relation to Raw and Element. But I'm not going to be eating for Fire Boost food, likewise with the Raw Bow I did not eat for Attack Boosting skills, only with the Crit Bow did I eat. Reason for this is that I don't really have min max talismans to take advantage of the elemental damage just yet, but I do have raw scaling talismans and much better raw foods, so I wanted to keep these all on an even playing field as best I could, just using the same talismans and armors and no eating, besides Crypto, who definitely needed to eat. So the test target. We're going to be fighting against Ice Tusk, who is a 4 star weak to fire and piercing damage. There are only two monsters in the game that have 5 star elemental weaknesses, being Grit Dog and The Last Boss. So I feel like those are not justified elemental targets. 4 star is going to be far more common, so that's what we're going to be doing. Also against Ice Tusk, we're going to be shooting the face with vertical charge 1 and charge 2 explosions. I want to see the damage difference between the bursts on each of the bow types to see if there's any significant difference. First up, we're going to be using the raw bow, the cookie cutter bow. So against a non-enraged Ice Tusk, the head explosion hits for 93 damage on charge 2. And then with the aerial jump shot, we get 53 with an odd 69 crit in there. Enraged Ice Tusk is going to be taking more damage since we have Battle Spirit, and it's going to be 105 with our standard hit, and 134 with a crit in there. So this is kind of going to be like our baseline damage. Moving on over to the Fire Bow. Charge 1 Vertical, which should be the same as the Aerial Shot, hits for 57 with a crit for 87, which is kind of high for a crit. And then we're going to go back and shoot again to just confirm that the Aerial is still the same as Charge Level 1, and they are, and it hits for 57. And then here, we're going to get charge level 2 arrows, which will explode for 90. Versus the enraged ice husk, charge explosion 2s are going to hit the face for 105. 
So the damage really isn't much different one way or the other here. I suppose the crits are higher because both the raw and the elemental side would have to crit, so that's kind of good to note. But yeah, not seeing much of a reason to use elemental bow compared to the raw bow, since the tiger also gets more stamina reduction and can be used on everything. But let's go ahead and take a look at the crit bow, which I did eat with crit food. So starting with the aerial shot, this is 47 on the standard shot, but we do have a bunch of crits for 62 in here, which honestly is pretty low. I thought crits are going to be like 50% damage buff, but the crit damage may be based on the weapon, because this is only like 30%. Another shot just to make sure, and yeah, still the same, 62s with the lower 47s that didn't crit. Okay. Moving on to charge 2 vertical, we get 79 on the hits and 104 on the crits. A little over 30%, but yeah, that average is to be about 90 with the 50% crit rate. Uh, I didn't bother with the enrage because I just got bummed out at this point. Um, so basically what I've concluded with this test though is that there's no reason to go element or crit for bow. Maybe elemental crit if we can somehow piece that together but they're all gonna even out to around the same damage, which isn't bad, but going on the raw build lets you just pack more quality of life skills into the weapon like stamina reduction and faster shooting speeds, so it's gonna be better in the end anyways. Now, I'm not done testing elemental bow just yet, I just need a lot of better elemental talismans and food skills to prepare for it to give it another shot, but I don't think crit bow is gonna be all that fireable, you have to spend way too many skills to just get a decent amount of crit, and while we couldn't get skills to increase the crit damage, crit chance is going to be far more important for that consistency. And the crit bow itself being down 60 raw and not having great inheritable skills means it's really going to take a lot to get it back on the same level as raw tiger bow. And basically anything you do to this boat, you can just put on to the raw tiger bow anyway and it'll be better. So I'll be sticking to the raw bow until something comes along to change my mind, stack stamina reductions, and just shoot more arrows. That's kind of the way to go. But that's going to be all for me. Thank you all for watching, and thank you to my Patreon members for the continued support. Much appreciated. If anyone wants to talk shop about games, feel free to join my Discord in the description below. But yeah, peace and good luck out there, hunters.